Hi, and welcome back to our training. Today our topic is SQL Server 2012 Agent Overview and Common Errors. This is being brought to you by SQL Server 2012 Tutorial.com. My name is Kashif Mughal, so let's jump right into it. So what is the SQL Server Agent anyway? Well, SQL Server Agent is a vital component of SQL Server 2012. Uh, it has been there for a number of years, obviously, with the older versions. Uh, you know, it is really a Windows service that runs independent of SQL Server Database Engine. So that's an important point to understand that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that SQL Server itself is a database engine, right, which is a different service, and the agent pretty much is a separate service that runs independent of the engine. Now, what is it really used for? Well, it has the ability to run tasks which are also known as SQL jobs that have been defined and configured by DBA. DBA obviously is the database administrator. Now these jobs, uh, the whole idea of this is to help with administration, uh, you know, those kind of things that can be automated. To give you an example, we are going to be looking at uh, types of jobs, but for example, if you need to back up your database on a nightly basis, you can easily configure a job to do that and the agent will run this job. Okay. Um, now the SQL agent does have different components. Uh, these include jobs, alerts, operators, proxies, error logs, and some other items. We will look at these a little bit later. Now as far as uh, the components, uh, like I mentioned, uh, you know, it does have different things. So let's go ahead and look at the main SQL Server 2012 agent components, and these are jobs. Well, what is a job? A SQL job is really nothing other than a set of scheduled tasks that can be performed by the SQL Server 2012 agent. Okay, so, you know, we are going to be looking at uh, different jobs in a minute, but that's really what it is. It's a scheduled task. Now, this also works in conjunction with events and alerts. Well, let's look at what they are. Events are when something happens in SQL Server. So I'll give you an example. Let's say the database uh, you know, file is running out of space. That could be an event. Now a SQL 2012 alert would really be a message sent via email or a page that the database is running out of space. Okay. And then finally we have the operator, which is a person of or group of people. It could be obviously like a distribution which is notified about the status of an alert or a SQL job. So this uses database mail for alerting purposes. We actually have another video on database mail on our channel if you want to learn more about that. So the whole sequence of events is like that. this. Let's say we go ahead and set up a backup job first. That backup job will run. If it uh, fails, let's say, we could set up an alert Okay, so the, the, the failure of the job is actually the event, okay, and then that can trigger an alert, which can then be sent to an operator. So that's really how, uh, you know, this works in conjun conjunction. Now, as far as, like I said, the typical jobs of SQL 20, 2012 agent, you can really, you know, have it set up uh, to do whatever you're, you're, you like, but the common types of jobs in SQL are backing up, or making a copy of the database okay so this is this is probably the most common job uh, you know setting up a nightly job to make sure that your logs and your data files are backed up you could also uh, do something where you know you check for index fragmentation and rebuild an index uh, the third type of job is very common which is to move data between SQL Server and another application maybe you're using Excel and you dump a lot of the data from SQL Server into the spreadsheet so that could be something that could be uh, you know set up and scheduled in the agent um, speaking strictly from DBA point of view you can uh, perform database consistency checks which are also known as DBCC on various types of objects like tables and indexes and whatnot you could set up replication log shipping mir mirroring type jobs okay you could run reports from a SQL Server reporting server. So really, the end, you know, the list is endless. Uh, it really, uh, it it really depends on what you're trying to do. We are actually going to go ahead and uh, create a simple job. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I'll I'll show you a backup job first, and then I will create a simple job that creates a brand new copy 
of customers table in the good old Northwind database. So the idea is that say, um, you know, nightly maybe you get a feed of customers or something and you wanna make sure that uh, table is backed up. How do you do that? So well, let's go ahead and switch to um, SQL Server Management Studio and then we can see uh, what everything looks like. We are currently running SQL Server 2012. Um, as far as if you expand the databases, you can see that I have a number of them. We are primarily interested in Northwind database, which is a sample database uh, from Microsoft. Uh, you know, it has things like uh, customers, orders, employees, whatnot. Now, if you uh, go all the way to the bottom, you'll see the SQL Server agent. Currently, uh, in our case, it is running, so we're going to go ahead and expand that. By the way, if your agent is stopped, all you need to do is right click here and you can uh, select this option which would start your agent ours is already running and and you can see that you know we have uh, items like jobs job activity monitor that we're going to talk about alerts operators proxies and error logs in here when we expand the jobs you can see that there are two jobs in here this was already there we set this one up so we are going to go into that one and see um, what this one looks like uh, it's really a backup Northwind uh, job that we have created. Here's the name of the job. Uh, this is the owner is the SA, you know, which is the super uh, user in SQL. Our category right now is database maintenance, and we are backing this up uh, every four hours. Now, the next thing we need to do is go into the steps. This is where you are going to see uh, exactly, you know, what is your SQL Server job doing? Okay, so here. We have a step called Run SQL Script. You can double click on it or select it and uh, choose Edit. When you when you do that, uh, this should uh, definitely bring up uh, you know the details. Okay, so here's my step name. Uh, my type of uh, SQL agent step uh, type is basically running T SQL. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's other options. You can you know run PowerShell. Um, operating system commands, replication type stuff, all kinds of things. You can run a, a SSIS agent, but we're simply running a T-SQL code. And you know, what are we running? Well, we are using a master database and our command is backup database Northwind to this location, okay? And I'll, I'll show you that in a minute, but I just want to go through the steps, okay? Now, another thing I typically like to do is I go to, uh, I go to the advanced tab and I typically will have, um, you know, a file which is basically, think of it as a log file, where you write the information from your um, scheduled job, okay? It's another way to basically track, you know, what is really going on under the hood. Uh, you can also uh, do another thing which is called log to table, but I, I typically like to create a file on the share or the network or the local machine where you know I can store that information okay so anyway so here I am you can uh, you can parse this SQL which basically means uh, that you know you're making sure the the, the code is good and uh, let's just cancel out of that now a couple of other things you could obviously set an alert in here which I do not have but let's take a look at the schedule I am running this every four hours okay uh, and it is enabled between the hours of midnight and uh, basically midnight the next day okay uh, so that's my job um, that runs. Okay, so let's uh, do first, uh, let's look at the history of this job because I did set this up a couple days ago. Uh, I've not been running this machine continuously, so it's kind of sporad sporadic. But if I right click on the job, go down to view history, you will notice that uh, today is uh, the 22nd. Okay, so this, this job um, ran on... Uh, on March 20th okay and then uh, you know I think my agent was probably stopped but it ran today at noon okay and then it ran at uh, 4 p.m. and what you can do here is you can drill down uh, into the steps you can uh, see you know what what did it do uh, and really what I'm looking for is this last step where where it says the step succeeded okay so so far so good Another way you can get to that information is by double clicking on job activity monitor. And then, uh, you know, this is actually going to list all of your jobs. Okay. Um, and you can see, you know, you can sort by these things. You can see if it succeeded, failed. Obviously, in your case, you may have a lot of different jobs. Okay. Uh, so that's a, that's a good place to check. 
Now let's uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and see um, if we actually uh, you know uh, let's see job logs. Here's here's my job log. Okay, um, and this is the file that I was talking about. Looks like it was uh, last. It was written was today at 4 p.m. So when I when I open this up, uh, you will see that uh, I'm just gonna expand this. You know here here's more information. See this is kind of like a historical um, essentially. Um, you know record of really what happened okay now it, it's telling you that you know it did complete here okay on the 22nd and then here's the 22nd it actually st starts on the in the beginning so it's this one started on March 20th and it completed this part okay and then the next one was at uh, today at uh, noon right and then it was at 4 so this is really a good information to keep um, now, as far as the actual backup, I think I, if I go back up one level, I believe that's where my <clears throat> that's where my actual backup is. And in my case, what I'm doing is I'm overriding the backup. You may have a different need where you essentially, you know, uh, keep multiple backups. It it all depends on what you're trying to do. Okay. So that was my um, example of an existing uh, existing SQL job. I'm actually going to create a brand new one. So this this will give you an idea of an. Uh...